Frank Bosworth Brandegee (July 8, 1864 to October 14, 1924) was a United States representative and senator from Connecticut. Topic: Early life. Frank Brandegee was born in New London, Connecticut, July 8, 1864. He was the son of Augustus Brandegee, who also served in the United States House. He graduated from New London's Bulkeley High School in 1881. He completed his degree at Yale College in 1885, where he was a member of Skull and Bones. He studied law, and was admitted to the bar in 1888 and practiced in New London, a Republican. In 1888, Brandegee served in the Connecticut House of Representatives, and was New London's Corporation Counsel from 1889 to 1893 and 1894 to 1897. He returned to the Connecticut House in 1899 and served as Speaker. He served again as New London's Corporation Counsel from 1901 to 1902, when he resigned because he had been elected to Congress. U.S. House Brandegee was elected as a Republican to the 57th Congress to fill the vacancy caused by the death of Charles A. Russell. He was re elected to the 58th and 59th Congresses and served from November 4, 1902, until May 10, 1905, when he resigned. Brandegee was a delegate to several state and national Republican conventions, and was chairman of the Connecticut Republican Party's 1904 state convention. U.S. Senate Brandegee resigned from the House to accept election to the U.S. Senate, filling the vacancy caused by the death of Orville H. Platt. He was re elected in 1908, 1914, and 1920, and served from May 10, 1905 until his death. A staunch, old guard conservative, Brandegee opposed women's suffrage, America's participation in the League of Nations, and most other measures of the time that were considered liberal or progressive. In 1920, Brandegee was also one of the chief promoters of Warren G. Harding for president. In the Senate, he was chairman of the following committees: Interoceanic Canals, 62nd Congress; Panama, 62nd Congress; Pacific Railroads, 63rd through 65th Congresses; Library, 66th and 67th Congresses; and Judiciary, 68th Congress. Brandegee was president pro tempore during several sessions of the Senate in the 62nd Congress, 1911 to 1913. Death and burial Brandegee never married and had no children. He committed suicide in Washington, D.C. on October 14, 1924, inhaling fumes from a gas light in a seldom used bathroom on the third floor of his home. According to published accounts, he was in ill health and had lost most of his fortune through bad investments. Press reports at the time indicated that he left his chauffeur a suicide note and $100, with another $100 for two other household servants. He was interred at Cedar Grove Cemetery in New London. See also List of United States Congress members who died in office 1900 to 49.